We are in with Penta versus Unicorns of Love in the French Clash Cup third place matchup. Here we got Penta coming in first with a little Lalo action. Some loons and the battle blimp. Here we go. Uh, do a little blizzard right here on the town hall chamber. To be able to knock that down and hopefully get a CC kill. Next invisibility in. Super Wizards stay alive through the Gigabomb. That is clutch. They kill the headhunters from the CC. Might not kill the hound. Well, they might if they can kill the cannon first. Nope, the goblins are killing those super wizards. Tries to kill the cannon with an arch or with a balloon, but there's a secret air mine there. Absolutely wrecks a loon. Archer from the south side of the base to pull that lava dog over. Now, where are we going to do the suey? It looks like we're going to try to send king and queen, I guess, into the scatter shot and then send the RC for the multi. If I had to guess, I'd say that's what he's doing. It's hard to tell since he hasn't funneled either side though. Already dropped the queen at six o'clock. She'll finish off the hound and the lava puppies. There we go with king over here on the left. Baby dragon even more on the left. Which way does king go though? He might go in for the multi. There's the wall breaker over there. He does indeed send king the wrong way. Or does king go back out? He goes back out, but then he's gonna go back in. So the heroes are gonna split unintentionally, I think. So he's going to switch up the plan a little bit, send the Royal Champion to tank for the Queen. What in the hoo-ha is going on? Invisibility spell on the Queen, but I mean on the Royal Champion, but now the Scattershot targets the Queen. And that's going to force an early ability. Rip. And we still get through the enemy Queen. We're going to freeze to make sure we can. Was he counting on getting the Royal Champion with the Sui? I'm not sure. His Queen dies. His Royal Champion's very low on HP. The King's going to finish her off. Can we get the multi? We do! Oh, that's OP. We got the Royal Champion and the multi. We didn't get either sweeper. Or did I call that too early? Oh, <gasps> King gets the sweepers. Wow. Okay, Sui got crazy good value. Now we just have to Lalo and finish on the Eagle. Might have to pop the Warden ability to save all these loons from the Eagle artillery shots. Do it, do it. Please, please save them. Ah, yes! Perfect Warden ability timing. Icehound puppy freezes on the top side of the base, freezes that air defense and everybody else up. Haste into the eagle, please get inside the range. Oh, this is so perfect. They just barely dodge the eagle artillery shots and this base is gonna be wrecked as long as he has time for cleanup. Does a Valkyrie that he forgot to use on the Sui, but he can just use that for cleanup, teehee. And sends all three headhunters for the Barbarian King because we all know the Barbarian King is the best air defense in the game. Gotta make sure you freeze him up as well. Perfectly done. 21 seconds left on the clock. Red bombs in the core. Luckily, one minion survives that, so we can get it down. 15 seconds to go. Another freeze in the bag that we didn't even need to use with 10 seconds to spare. It's going to be a clan clash triple for Pinta to start off the match here against Unicorns of Love. Unicorns of Love with their first attack. Coming in with a Super Witch hit, starting with the Warden Walk at 11 o'clock. Lightning spells and Earthquake to take out the Inferno Tower at 1030. Looks like that's the only thing he gets. Nope, he gets the uh, Expo as well because he brought an extra Quake. Okay, okay, sir. Wallbreaker from 12 to help bust open that Town Hall Chamber even more. Nice. Now we just got to wait for the Warden to make the funnel here. Then we'll be able to send Super Witches into the top side. Oh, he's sending them early. Okay, okay, okay. King to funnel the one o'clock side. Still have the siege barracks to deploy with him as well. Here come the super witches from the top. Hopefully the funnel's good enough and they all go in. I feel like it's not good enough. He's gonna have at least one super witch that walks. Yep, one super witch goes to the left. Hopefully she does not steal the healers because that would be very non-cash money. King pops his ability, walks over to the right. CC troops are coming out. Town hall's down. We're still holding on to that warden ability. Coco loons out in front. Jump spell to get us access to the core. Super minions in the CC will be able to take them out. No. Poison spell needed whatsoever. He can pop this warden ability to save that super witch on the left. If he wants to, pop it. She's stealing healers as well, so maybe we should let her die. Nope, we're going to pop it indeed. Hogs from the Siege Barracks come out to the core. They're going to come help out the super witches. Actually, they're going to make their way to the right for the scatter shot, but the big boys go to the core. They're going to take out that multi. Next jump to give us access to the back end of the base. We'll be able to get the queen, the eagle, the ground bow, the archer tower, everything in the back end of the base. We're going to send the royal champion from the three o'clock angle to help out with that scatter shot and the Tesla farm that's there. The balloons take out the scatter. That was OP. We only got one healer in the core because the super witch that walked stole all the other healers. That's unfortunate. Queen goes down in the core. Warden about to take a lot of damage. This is looking pretty sketchy. It's going to be up to the Royal Champion. And with no spells left, I think we're looking at a fail here. 
We needed those healers in the core. That stinking super witch that walked to the left on us stole all the healers and the super witches and the queen and the core ended up dying much earlier than anticipated. The royal champion did not even get through that bottom side scattershot compartment and it's going to be arguably a low percentage fail here for unicorns of love. Not what we're used to seeing from them. That 70% and climbing should be able to grab two or three more buildings. The minion at nine o'clock, the archer at seven. The minion goes down and the archer gets one more building. Then they're going to die to the expos. And we're looking at a 73% defense for Penta and a solid lead for them to start off the match. Three stars to two. Zakia is in with the queen charge hybrid. All right, all right. Six lightnings and one earthquake. Oh, baby, it's a zap blimp hybrid. I'm going to zap. Looks like the expo and the inferno tower on the southeast side of the base. Then he's going to blimp the scattershot compartment. So he wants to get rid of both of these compartments that are right next to each other. Super duper early. Not going to invest the rage. We only have one rage spell on this attack. And he definitely needs it for the queen charge. Wow, the yetis were able to kill that enemy queen and the scattershot without even using a rage. That's actually pretty OP. Nicely done so far from Zakia. Baby Dragon takes out that Builder Hut, so the Queen should walk down and toward the Town Hall. We're going to use some Sneakies and Archers to funnel over here on the bottom. We got two Wall Breakers. We're going to try to get Queen access to this Town Hall. That Baby Dragon gets so far. Wow. That Baby Dragon's putting in work. Don't tell me he can get the Wizard Tower as well. Okay, he takes a Seeking Air Mine to the face. Here come two Headhunters. Come on, Queen. We're going to use our one and only Freeze to allow Queen to get through those Headhunters. There's probably a Lava Dog in that Clan Castle alongside three Goblins as well. That's why the baby dragon only pulled the headhunters. Gonna reuse that one and only rage to help queen get through the town hall. Eagle artillery is awake, which means we need to start the hybrid soon. So he's gonna start drop the king from 12 o'clock. The hybrid from one. Here we go. Queen's about to pull the lava hound and the goblins. There they are. So we're gonna drop the poison right there. Queen does have quite a bit of damage on her and no more spells to use. We do have her ability if we need it though. One and only heal being used super duper early. Headhunters in with the hybrid. We're trying to hold on to the Warden ability as long as possible because after that, there's no more spells to keep anybody alive. Minion to help Queen with the Lava Pups. Gonna pop this Warden ability for the Tesla Farm in the core. There's a Tornado Trap, but it doesn't do a whole lot to Miners. We do have Hogs, however, that the Tornado does hit. King on the outside to tank the Scattershot is beautiful. We're gonna pop that Queen ability as she was taking too much damage. She's gonna be able to grab a few more buildings, but these Miners and Hogs are thinning out without having a second heal. It's looking a little sketchy. We do have the RC ability. If we can get through that last scatter shot, I think we're looking okay. Queen's gonna wrap around outside. The multi is staying up, but I don't think it matters as long as the, heal the healers can keep the queen alive. RC does get through the scatter. Wizard to take out the air defense. Can we get through the cannon as well? King and queen can finish off the multi. He's got it. He's got it. All the hybrid troops died, but it doesn't matter because all four heroes stayed alive. RC can get through the storages, the collector, the builder hut, 25 plus seconds to spare. And it's a triple for Penta and they are two for two. Here we go with Unicorns of Love's second attack. They need to start tripling if they want to keep up with Penta in this match. And they're bringing us a little Lalo action with two Ice Hounds and a Hog Rider. Okay, seven lightnings with no earthquake means we're probably going to see lightnings on the enemy queen. Probably going to grab the multi as well. Let's see. Boom, there they go. We're gonna grab all three defenses and the enemy Archer Queen. Sets a nice little funnel there as well, okay. Giant and Queen from 10 o'clock. Baby Dragon at nine, and the Hog Rider is in. What's the point of that Hog Rider? I don't know, <laughs> but he looks cool. Little Hog Rider only gets one swing off on the air defense, that poor guy. Now, it looks like he wants Queen to walk up, and she will. Baby Dragon makes the funnel just in time. Ice Golem out in front. King as well to tank for the queen. Second giant down. Roa champion in to finish off the funnel. Wall break into the scatter shot compartment. That wall break is perfect. Now he wants the king and queen to go in for the scatter shot. Kill the enemy royal champion. Take out the air sweepers while his royal champion takes out the eagle artillery. We don't have any invisibility spells for her, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I think she'll be able to finish off the eagle as long as the skelly trap doesn't distract too much. The expo on the royal champion hurts, but luckily it goes down. King and queen can fight the CC troops. There goes the poison spell. For the Headhunters and the Lava Dog, RC finishes off the Eagle. Beautiful job from the RC. We pop the Queen ability early before she gets targeted by too much. 
She should be able to take out the Lava Pups before the Poison Spell expires. Can she grab at least one Sweeper? No, she's going to go down to those Ground Expos that are very pesky. Both Ice Hounds into the first Air Defense. Okay, Warden with the initial group of Loons. We're not at 50% yet, but that Town Hall is not even awake. This is a little concerning as the Loons might skip it. We're barely at 45%. Oh, don't tell me he's going to skip the Town Hall completely. The Tesla's going to pull all the Loons up. Oh, guys! He gets one Loon! Oh, this is bad news. Gotta haste the lower group. Come on, come on. Tornado Trap in the core. Oh, this is sketchy. Pops a Warren ability. Gets loons there. Luckily, they're still in the haste as well. Hopefully, we need them to haste to the scatter shot. They go to the expo? Ow. I don't know. But the scatter shot was tanked by something. What even was that? We get through the scatter. We got a freeze. We got one more haste. Yo, how did he save that? Or did he? There's just one wizard tower left. 50 seconds to go. No more air targeting defenses. Wow, what a save from Curry. Jeez, that looks so sketchy at the start of the Lalo, but he was able to recover. And as long as he's got enough time for cleanup, which I think he does, 40 seconds to go. That was a beautiful recovery. And Unicorns of Love are getting right back into this match with a triple right here. He had an Inferno baby in his Stone Slammer, I think. That's what was tanking the scatter shot, and that was actually pretty clutch. If that Inferno baby wasn't tanking the scatter shot, it would have turned around 180, 360, no scoped his loons, and it would have been bad news for Curry. But anyway, it's going to be a triple with the Lalo. Beautiful attack from Unicorns of Love, and just like that, they are back in the match. Tim is in with the next attack for Penta, bringing us some dragon action, our first dragon attack of the day. And he's got four skeleton spells, three lightnings, and one earthquake. What the heck is he doing with these spells? There's the earthquake to damage both inferno towers on the bottom left side of the base. One lightning on the bottom one, another lightning in between, and the other lightning on the left one. Is he going to RC trick both inferno towers? That looks like the plan. Sends a giant, sends loons for the cannon. Sends the RC. Yo, he is going to try to RC trick both of these. He has the invisibility spell to make the archer tower invisible. Watch, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Yes! Boom, RC ability. Goodbye, both the Inferno Towers. Now she can grab the Expo and she goes up because the Archer Tower was still invisible when she had to pick a target. That was interesting. Pretty cool. It did cost a lot of spells. An Earthquake, one, two, three Lightnings, and an Invisibility. Five spells. Was it worth it? And the RC. We'll see. We will see. Dragons from the top side of the base. Probably going to see the King and Queen walking from 12 toward 3 o'clock. Stone Slammer in with the dragons. We do have a bunch of skeleton spells that he's going to use for the dragons just to distract. It's almost like the Inferno Baby Dragon spam attack, but using normal dragons instead of Inferno Babies. King and Queen with a wall breaker from the top right side of the base. He only used one skeleton spell there, which is not enough to distract the Inferno Tower from a hero, which means his king gets absolutely melted by that single. Luckily, he sees it in time, drops a free spell, pops his warden ability through the Gigabomb. Those headhunters just absolutely demolished his warden. Holy crap. Good night, warden. He is down for the count. Dragons pathing their way through the core, though. His king died. His queen is all by herself, and that ground bow is doing a lot of damage. The dragon skipped it. Yo, those dragons aren't helping out their queen. Finally, one dragon goes back up for the ground bow, but we're going to have to pop the queen ability any second now. Dragons pathing through the back end. The only thing that concerns me, the only thing that's a real major threat now is this air defense on the backside. If we can get through that, then this is a triple. He has one, two, three, four, five, at least 69 and a half dragons still alive. But without the Grand Warden and his extra HP aura buff, those dragons die faster than you think to the air defense. Look, that air defense already took like two of them out. About to take a third one out. And they're not pathing to it. They're pathing around it. That air defense might just save the base because the Grand Warden's not still alive. The dragon on the bottom side dies to the Archer Tower. The Queen is low on HP. The other dragon dies to his Seeking Air Mine. I think if Warden doesn't die to the Headhunters, this would have been a triple. That extra HP buff from the Warden is so valuable, guys. The Queen's going to die to the cannon. This is a defense. Wow. Small things like that really make a difference. If the Warden stays alive, I'm pretty sure that's a triple. But instead, it's going to be a 94% fail, which means Unicorns of Love, if they can get a triple on their next attack, they're right back in this match, and they're already live. 
Here we go. Let's see what Chichen can do. He's coming in with a mass golem, witch, and super wizard attack. What the heck? With a log launcher and nine lightnings and two earthquakes? Okay. Lightnings on the top side for the Inferno Tower and the other Inferno Tower. Then we quake both. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of damage right there with the lightnings and the earthquakes. Which is on the bottom with Super Wizards and a Golem. And we're just going to spread everybody from the 6 to 3 angle. Okay, Log Launcher in as well. I think. Where's the Log Launcher? Drop the Log Launcher. There's the Log Launcher. Probably going to go with an early Warren ability. Save the RC for the Town Hall. Spray and pray and hope for the best. He uses the first freeze earlier or was that an Ice Golem? No, it was an Ice Golem. Pop the Warden ability through the enemy clan castle troops. Those headhunters die pretty quickly. Now we're going to chew through the lava duck. He sends the RC early? Bro, what about the town hall? Oh, this is risky. Log launcher opens the wall, so we do have access to the town hall, but it's still pretty scary. We got to make sure we keep the troops alive to get there. Freezes the single. Pops the king ability. We got yetis from our log launcher. Queen's still alive with ability. But now we're going to freeze the town hall. Pop that RC ability. RC's on the town hall. King and yetis are on the town hall. Down goes the town hall. Okay, now it's all about can we get the triple? Some witches still alive in the core. A witch and super wizard on the right side. Uh, Archer and a couple skellies on the bottom for cleanup. King's still alive, just on cleanup duty now. There's not a whole lot of defenses left. There's plenty of time. I think it's crushed. Not many witches alive, but the king and the queen and the warden should be able to easily finish off the rest of the base. Right? I think so. She goes outside very smartly. Yeah, there's just a Tesla that could stop her. and She's got her ability. It's crushed. That's a triple for Unicorns of Love. And just like that, we're going to be tied on stars. And we're going to have to check to see who has the percentage lead. Because after the third round of attacks, it's all tied up, ladies and gentlemen. Eight stars apiece. Plenty of time to go. He's got almost a whole minute to spare. Beautifully done for Unicorns of Love. And as we check out the stats, 8 to 8. But the percentage lead still in favor of Pinta. 58.8 .8 to 54.6. Muffin is in with the next attack for Penta. Bringing us some Super Witches with Lightnings and an Earthquake. Balloons at 1030 on the Bomb Tower. Warden in behind. We do have the Lightning, so we're probably going to see the Lightning Spells on the Expo and the Inferno Tower. Knock that down. And then just Super Witches into the Town Hall. Pretty simple strategy here. He does have two Wall Breakers. Going to see how he uses them. First one from the top side. Ooh, that's interesting. Pulls a Tornado Trap. Okay, Wall Breaker. I see you. Nice. So he doesn't even have to worry about that Tornado Trap. It's going to be a little interesting, though, because he's going to have to, like, wrap around the top side and then target the Town Hall from the right, which means the healers might take damage from the Giga Inferno. It depends on how many big boys get out in front. He's dropping the Super Witches now. Three of them in. Warden snipes the air defense. Do we lose a healer? He does lose one healer. That's unfortunate. Big boys wrap inside. He almost lost a second healer. Ice Golem and King on the outside. We find a couple of Teslas. CC troops come out. Oh, this is looking messy. The Super Witches are going to split in two different angles. Siege Barracks with the King on the right side of the base. Are we going to pop the Warden ability? Eh, might not need it. He might still pop it. Nope, he doesn't. That Hound pops. Oh, these Super Witches are going to go the wrong way. They're going to go down toward the Warden Tower. Oh, this pathing's looking real sketchy. The Wall Breaker did not make it to the core, so he's going to have to jump early. Yo, these Siege Barracks troops are just getting wrecked by that Tesla farm. And the Expo. Those wizards got, like, zero value. Rage and Warden ability as we make our way into the core. The Queen is taking some interesting pathing here. Now she goes back toward the core. Valkyrie's out of the Siege Barracks. We still have the Royal Champion to deploy. Going to send her from 3 o'clock. Another Rage in the core for these Super Witches, but there's not a whole lot of them left. They split in so many different ways. The healers were not able to keep them all alive, which is very unfortunate. There's only one Super Witch left, and as soon as I say that, she dies. Warden charge with the Queen in the middle of the base. That's all we got left with the RC on the right side. No more spells to go. I think this is going to be a defense for Unicorns of Love. All the healers and the Warden are dead. Queen pops her ability. She's dead. RC has to pop her ability. How much percent can she get? She might get the Eagle and the Cannon, but that's about it. 
We got cleanup troops on the outside. 69% Tihi in climbing. There we go, 70. Down goes the cannon. She doesn't even have enough time to grab the wizard tower. A couple of troops on the bottom should be able to get us closer to 75, 76, 77 ish percent. But that's going to be a huge defense for Unicorns of Love, guys. Unicorns of Love can now steal the lead from Penta with their next attack. Oh, how the turns have tabled. 20 seconds to go. Archers and minion down here. I think we are going to be looking at about a 78% attack. If we can grab that barracks in time, we might not even be able to. Looks like a 77. No other troops on the map. We grab the army camp. Six seconds to go. And indeed, it is going to be a 77% attack here for Muffin. Nice try. But all the super witches splitting like him in the core was just not good. Unicorns of Love with their next attack. If they... Get a triple here. They are going to steal the lead from Pinta. They're going with early lightnings and quake on the left side of the base. And we're going to be using the super giant witch spam attack, presumably with a log launcher, although he has a siege barracks activated right now. There he goes, switches it to the log launcher. Super giant and king over here on the left side. Here come all the super giants from the top left side of the base. Witch is in behind. I'm surprised he doesn't spread them out all the way to nine o'clock. He just wants the king to be by himself over there. First free spell in early. Log launcher to hopefully get him all the way to the town hall. Queen walks down. Does she come back? She does. Ooh, that's nice. Oftentimes have to rely on that queen getting the town hall. So if she would have walked there, that would have been huge. Gotta get through this lava hound. Might take him a while, but he's gonna pop the Wharton ability right there. Three or four witches still alive on the top side. King and a couple witches on the left side. We gotta get through that multi in the core before it does too much damage to these witches. Might be worth a freeze. He's not freezing it. Logs get us all the way to that town hall. Yeti's in the CC. Down goes the multi. We're gonna freeze the wizard tower and the Tesla. Okay, I think he was trying to hit the eagle, but missed it. RC from the top right. Freeze the town hall. We got two more freezes to get RC there. So many witches in the core, but it's get, they get targeted by the eagle, but they're okay. Another freeze on the town hall. We need the RC to take it out. Probably have to use the last freeze there as well. Oh, where's the last freeze? Pop the RC ability. Actually, she doesn't need it. She can get the town hall. Which is alive in the core. The eagle's down. We got the last freeze for the scatter shot. Oh, baby. It's looking good here for Sahara from Unicorns of Love. Uses the last freeze so the king can get the scatter shot down. It's crushed. It's crushed. Ladies and gentlemen, how about that? Unicorns of Love are so good with this strategy. And just like that, after the fourth round of attacks, they steal the lead away from Pinsa. And they're going to be up by a star going into the last round of attacks. It is now 11 stars to 10 for Unicorns of Love. And percent Unicorns of Love also up by two buildings. The last round of attacks have started. Pinta are in. And they're coming in with an early earthquake over here for the scatter shot. Lightning spells in. Did he miss the Inferno Tower? I think he did. He missed the Inferno Tower with his earthquake. <laughs> Rip. He just swagged so many spells. Oh, that's unfortunate. RC. Oh, no. He did the RC trick. Okay. I guess that was exactly how he meant for it to go. Wow. The invisibility on the bottom side was amazing. RC trick goes all the way to the core. That was neat. Still has a rage and two freezes. Funnels up at 10 o'clock. It is a dragon attack here with 14 balloons. That's actually a lot of balloons. Warden on air. All right, dragon straight into the town hall. Where is he going to use his king and queen? Still holding on to that king and queen. Dragons will go up into the town hall. And then I think they're just going to keep going up because of that funnel that the lightnings and RC ability made. He uses a blimp from three o'clock with just all balloons. All balloons. All he wanted was the Eagle Artillery, I guess. We'll take out the bomb tower as well, but that's not really a big factor. King and Queen from 1030. They get the Archer Tower and they're gonna make their way up top. Dragon's just gonna slowly push through the core. There goes the Rage in the core, so hopefully they can fight the enemy Queen and Royal Champion. Tesla's in the core. Tons of red bombs in the core. Oh, it's a lot of damage. We need Queen to go take out that scatter shot. Ooh, he's losing dragons fast in the core, man. They're all low on HP. Gonna freeze up the Royal Champion so we can at least get through her. Dragons on the top side should be able to get through the scatter. King pops the ability. He's at full health. Queen's still at full health with ability. If we can get through the scatter, it's looking good, but the dragon dies and the scatter stays alive. We freeze the bottom side Inferno Tower. Oh, this is not looking good for Pinta. 
they needed a triple to win this war, and I don't think this is going to get it done. Queen pops her ability. Warden is going to die to the single. Queen goes in. Down goes all the defense on the top side, but there's so much on the bottom. This is a fail, isn't it? Yeah, that single target in front of tower is not going to go down. Oh, rest in peace, Penta. Got a couple loons sneaking in there, but they're going to die before they get there. Queen out in front of the king. We dropped a minion at six. We got a headhunter in the bag, but not really anywhere useful that we can drop it. King's going to take the single and a double skeleton trap to distract. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. It's a fail for Penta. Let's check out Unicorn of Love's attack. And they come in with another triple here. It's Toto bringing us a Lalo attack. And, well, this looks all sorts of messy. Oh, it was a queen charge, Lalo. Queen's still alive on the left side with RC. Rage spell on the bottom. Warden on air. We don't have his ability anymore. There's still a scatter shot in the core. Yeah, it's looking real messy. He's not using the free spell, which means the Lalo is going to get wrecked. Not sure what went wrong on the charge here, but this queen charge, Lalo, did not get the value he needed it to. Warden might be able to snipe that scatter shot, or does he die first? Who wins that fight? Oh, Warden at 1 HP. Get it, buddy. Get it. Oh, they kill each other. What a romantic, tragic love ending right there. Queen going to be able to grab some storages on the top side, both out her ability and time runs out at 84%. Nice try to Toto, but not able to get it done there. And we finish the match 13 stars to 12. Unicorns of Love are going to be winning this one by a star 91.4% to 91.2.